Hi everyone, welcome back. This is your India Food Recipes. Dartin. Today our recipe is Ceylon Chicken Paratha. Let us see the ingredients. Here I took two and a half cup of all-purpose flour, and seven to eight teaspoon of oil, and one teaspoon of sugar and salt as per taste. Let us see how to prepare this paratha. Before that, we will prepare the dough part. If you are preparing paratha dough, we we'll try to use wide bowl like this. In that bowl, first I am going to add. Uh, sugar and salt mix it well then I'm going to add small amount of oil over here here I'm going to add just two to three teaspoon of oil mix it everything together Here I am going to add enough amount of water, add water very carefully. For paratha we need a loose, loose and a elastic dough. Then only we can roll it very easily. Once you prepare the dough, transfer the dough into small bowl like this. Press it well. Then I am going to add oil. If you are preparing paratha, oil is the main thing. Main ingredient. And mix it well. Mix it like this. Now I am going to add some more oil over here, otherwise our dough will getting dry, we can't get smooth and elastic paratha, I am going to add some more oil over here, mix it well and leave this dough for one hour, after one hour we will make a paratha. Now we will prepare the stuffed part. Uh, here is the ingredients. Here I am going to use uh, uh, half a cup of uh, chicken. It's like keema, chicken keema, and uh, one chopped red onion, and one teaspoon of crushed ginger and garlic, and one chopped green chilli and some curry leaves, and two teaspoon of coconut paste, one teaspoon of chilli powder, uh, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, some salt, and one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. Let's see how to prepare this. First take the cumin seeds, heat the oil in the pan. I'm going to put the cumin seeds here. Then I'm going to add our chopped onion, ginger garlic, uh, green chilli and curry over here. Sort it nicely. After that, we will add our chicken over here. Until they get slightly brown color. After that, we will add our masala part and the chicken, finely chopped chicken also. This is a very tasty uh, recipe. We want dry chicken uh, curry. Then only we can place the ch chicken curry inside the paratha. Sort it nicely. I didn't add any tomatoes here because the onion getting brown color it will give some kind of sweetness so that sweetness only we want I am going to add pinch of salt over here so it will cook very fast Sort it nicely. Once they get slightly brown color, then we will add the next ingredients over here. Here our onions are slightly transparent. Now I am going to add our masalas. That is one teaspoon of chili powder, one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, and some salt over here. Sort it everything together. Sort it well until the raw smell of this masalas no. now there is no raw smell of our masalas now I am going to add our finely chopped chicken over here 
chop the chicken very finely then only we can place the chicken inside the paratha sort it nicely once they get slightly color change then we will put our coconut paste over here now i'm going to add our 2 teaspoon of coconut paste here mix it everything together add salt very carefully because we already add salt in the paratha dough so add it very carefully for here i didn't add any water in the slow flame only i'm going to cook the stuff sort it nicely allow them to cook for at least continuously 5 minutes after that let us see how is our stuff so stuff part here a stuffing pot is ready now i am going to turn off the flame here our paratha dough is ready can you see this how it is elastic now let us prepare our paratha look at this how our dough is soft here take your dough like this and that you fold your dough, dough like with use of your finger then only we can get the smooth part on the uh, top side so press it like this then only you look at this there is no crackle or any uh, mark over here so we can get the smooth part before you make a paratha do it like this now I am going to roll my dough make a thin sheet before that Place dust the flour with uh, flour with use of flour. Spread enough amount of flour over here and roll it like this. We need a thin paper. I'll show you. Place uh, roll your uh, dough like this. Can you see this? How it's a thin sheet. This is this is this sheet only I want. Now I'm going to place my chicken stuffing on the on top of the dough place it like this this is a um, very tasty paratha look at this our stuffing is ready now I am going to cover the stuffing with use of this thin sheet look at this cover it and this side also I am going to place some water on the corner over here so it will stick it to exert Roll it like this and cover on the side with use of this side and on the side is like this look at this here our stuffing uh, silon chicken silon paratha is ready now I'm going to put this uh, mixture the dough inside the tava look at this already I heat the tava over here I place my paratha and put some more oil over here look at this when they get slightly brown color then we will turn or over, turn over it instead of chopped uh, chicken uh, paratha you can prepare plain silon paratha also you roll the sheet like this dough and then take one side of the corner like this and put another corner the top another side look at this how it's like then i'm going to put one more there then here this is our plain silon paratha now i'm going to heat the tava and put it over here when they get slightly golden color then we will take it out here our homemade silon paratha chicken silon paratha is ready to eat now try it yourself uh, if you want you can serve this chicken paratha with any kind of salna or chicken korma also you can see my website in, in my website i put a chicken chalna and chicken korma video also try it yourself send your valuable feedbacks to www.indiafoodrecipes.in we will meet in another video thank you here our plain silon paratha also ready look at this you can serve this silon paratha with any kind of korma or salna or whatever you want or you paneer pan uh, dal curry or paneer curry whatever you like 
okay send your valuable feedbacks to www.indiafoodrecipes.in